Should working pensioners pay national insurance? That's what we're asking. Get your calls in. 0207 862 is the number. Now, a dossier drawn up by a group of Labour MPs proposed six tax rises, uh, rises to raise £6 billion. One of the proposals was that working pensioners should pay national insurance. Now, Labour has dismissed the claim, saying that this manifesto suggestion was rejected at the very early stages. But as it stands, if you are working uh, and aged between 16 to 66, you pay national insurance. But as soon as you hit 66, you stop regardless of if you are still employed or not. So the think tank, the Intergenerational Foundation, released a report that said 1.2 million people work over state pension age and that making them pay their national insurance would ra raise 1.5 billion pounds in extra revenue annually, not a small amount of money. So that would be a good cash source for the next government uh, to make working pensioners pay for it. But is it a good idea, Matt? I think it is a good idea, but could we be just completely clear? You already have mentioned it. This is not Labour policy, certainly not Labour policy as things stand. But on the merits of it, I think it's sensible I use that terrible phrase, common sense. Why? The answer is, if you are working beyond the state pension age, why should you suddenly stop paying national insurance? What we've just, two minutes ago, had a brief conversation about is the extent to which young people in this country are struggling. So many people unable to get on the housing ladder, people, as you rightly pointed out, struggling with rent. So why should we give a tax break to people who have decided to continue to work, sometimes they need to, but nonetheless continue to work beyond the state pension age. Seems to me to be absolutely sensible that, that should be taken away. Now, I don't want to make yeah. assumptions here, but yeah. you're, you're approaching that age, Mike. Yes. And how are you feeling about the suggestion that you would have to start paying Th national insurance? This is an outrage, OK? It's ageist. It's, it's a policy to tax people to the grave, OK? Ageist? Literally, literally to the grave, OK? You pay national insurance until you die. It's an outrage. Young people in this country aren't having a good time at the moment, but the only reason they've got infrastructure, like roads and railways and hospitals, is because I work for 45 I or 50 years... I thought you were going to say because of the Romans there no, for no, a minute. No, 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 because no. I work for 45 or 50 years, OK, paying insurance, uh, sorry, national insurance and taxes all those decades mm. to build the country we have today. The only person then, this is ageing... Then, hang on, and then I get into my dotage, not that I'm in my dotage, but <laughs> some people get into their dotage, and all of a sudden you find, I tell you what, we're going to bring back tax for you, you miserable old git. I can't believe my ears. You're saying this is ageist. The only people this is. is ageist against is people under the state age, no. pension age. Mostly, of course, young people who are struggling so much. Why should no. you get a, a tax break and, when and you, you hit 66? Have you been suddenly to, get a tax break? Have you been madness. to B and Q lately? Because I have, and I use B and Q as an example of employees who encourage older people to come back to work, OK, great. when they're 67, 68. Now, where would the incentive be to go back to work? All of a sudden, you're going to say, after paying tax for 45 years... All of a sudden... All you, you can come back, but we're going to tax you again. I tell again. you what, there'd be a labour shortage. <laughs> we've, got, we've got nearly 10 million people in this country who are economically inactive, but those of my generation still want to work, still want to do it, still want to get in and there, I applaud and them. you want to no, tax I, me. I, I, you I, want well, to let me tax just make me. The I absolutely outrage. applaud it if outrage. you want to continue to work beyond 66. I very much hope and expect to be working beyond 66 myself. I don't expect a tax break for continuing to work. Why should I get a tax break because at age 66 built the country and in the not 18, 19, 20 working. year olds? No, 18, 19, break. 20 year olds it, can't get on the housing ladder. Is data. it fair though to say, Matt, if we're using a sort of business analogy here, that you have set up a deal with somebody, you have done your end of the deal, and then when it gets to the part where the other person's supposed to contribute their part, they go, no, we're going to change the rules now. Who's, yeah. who's, who's, not, who's, the, other, who's the other person here? Well, you've, we you've worked your whole life. Yeah, indeed, and we live in a society, and when the facts change, you can change policy, because guess what? The baby boomers have had it relatively good for a very long yeah, time, and cheating. the younger generations are seriously struggling. So why should you suddenly get a tax break simply because you're continuing to work at 66? Stop. 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 
physically stacked, fit, mentally and physically exactly. to carry on working. Stom's absolutely right. You've been paying all your life for that natural health service. That's what it was set up for initially, mm. OK? You get to 66, you're probably going to have more ailments after 66 than you've had before, and all of a sudden you're being paid... Oh, by the way, we're going to tax you on that as well. You can't go to hospital now unless you keep paying tax. It's an outrage. Do let it's us know at outrage. home what you think about this. 0207 862 Maybe you've hit that age and you're still working and you would be quite annoyed or maybe happy to pay your national insurance. Part of the argument for making somebody pay national insurance past the age of 66 is, Mike, that we are living longer. Yep. There are definite health benefits to continuing working, as, yes. as you well know. Yes. So isn't it fair that you make more contributions if you can, particularly if you're going to be taking out? No. Probably the, in the near future? No, and um, one reason why, Storm, is you've already raised it. What about that contract you had with the state? Contracts when you, change things? Hang, change. Hang, hang on. The contract you had with the state, when you started working at 16, I think you start paying us insurance, yes, if, you're, if you're working, 16. I, there might be a case to say there'll be a 10-year warning, right, a decade warning, to say, but, you know, the way that they put up the pension age all the time, OK? Um, but they give you, like, three or four years' warning. There might be a case to saying 10 years' time the system changes, but you can't change it I'll, just overnight and expect my, people to put their hand in the I'm, pocket again to help people I'm not like a betting man. Hang on, to hospital. St steady on. I'm not a betting man, but I would bet, a sportsman's bet, that the vast majority of people, when they hit that age, are surprised by the fact that they get a tax cut. And don't you forget that it's not just you, who are a bit closer to that age than I am, who will be paying a little bit more in tax than you would otherwise have mm. been because the facts have changed. We all will be. Mm. In fact, people like me will probably be paying a hell of a lot more by the time we get to 66 right. because we are an ageing society. So fleece pensioners. Fleece pensioners. That's what Matt's saying. <laughs> okay. Okay. You're a headline yeah, writer. This is the headline writer for the tabloids, Mike. The, the, this the, isn't reality. The, the, the pension We're talking is about marginal the amount. I want to get world. to calls. Mm. Diana from Suffolk. The panel's very passionate about this. How do you feel? Do you think we should be charging working pensioners national insurance? No, I don't. I definitely don't. Most of my generation started work at 15. Mm -hmm. So we had been paying tax. I worked all of my life, 55 years, and I think this is an insult. I'd like to ask the gentleman what age he was when he started work and he started paying tax. 18. Yeah, well, I'd already done three years. Well, and and hats off to you for that. But you have to realise that we live in a society, I'm sure you do, and we're trying to balance the interests of different stakeholders in our society. And we've just had a chat about the extent to which so many millions of young people are really, really struggling. So continuing to pay a little bit of tax on your NI when you get to 66 in order that younger people and society as a whole can benefit surely has to be a good thing. Fully respect what you've achieved in your life. Di fully respect you and thank you for it. Please, Diana, please, can I ask a please question? Don't pat please don't patronise me. When I was young, if you couldn't afford things, you did two or three jobs. You didn't expect anybody to keep you. You didn't expect to stay with your parents. I did a full-time job and three... Uh, I can see you're patronising me. Not patronise, you're just strongly disagree with you. What are you saying to the millions of people who are still living at home well, with I... their parents? You, would you like them to live on the street? This is just no. economic reality now. No, not at all, but perhaps they should have done like we did. The minute we left school, we started saving. Mm. Well, well, they, I'm sure, Diana, they, I'm sure I think, they would if they could. I, I think the economics are slightly different, but I, I, I appreciate that people worked very, very hard when they were younger, even in, in your generation too. But uh, can I ask, are you a working pensioner yourself? I worked until I was 70, so I think okay, what so I get I think what I get now I've earned. I, I, absolutely. So you so there was a four-year period there where if this policy came in place you would be paying your national insurance. Now during that four years were you paying tax? I only did uh, I worked in full-time until I was 66, 67. Mm -hmm. And then I did a part-time job working for Meals on Wheels. Well done. Okay, yeah, so but 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 did, but did you have to pay tax on that income? No, I didn't. Okay, well, if you pay, if you earn over a certain threshold, Diana, you would have been asked to pay tax on that. So my question is, if you're going to pay tax on your income, what's the difference between the national insurance? Is that not just an additional tax of a different name? I don't I don't, I don't understand what where you're distinguishing between the two. 
or whether you think that just pensioners that work shouldn't be taxed at all? Well, I, I, perhaps, perhaps a little bit of tax, but national insurance surely is um, so that you can get your NHS covered. Mm. You well, can get your... Which you paid for many times over, Diana, in those 55 years that you worked. You know, a very solid citizen. But You've what put your contribution what, in. What we're, we're an ageing society. Sorry. We are so, an ageing society. I, what I can't work out is, and I can understand why, Diana, you would be completely bamboozled by this suggestion yeah. and very upset by it, but are we saying as a society then that you have to work a certain number of years and then you just stop contributing to your national insurance because you've already paid in for your contribution? Yeah, yes, I think you do. I think so, you do. So, so there's a cut-off? The Sorry? So there's a cut-off, so, so we say, well, OK, 50 off years... 66 and then... now, isn't it? Well, but, but that but changes, that doesn't that... it, Mike? The no. state, a the state age on. pension... But... It changes no, the state no, but pension it's about age the number of because years reality you've changes. It's Diana, the number of years you thank work. you very it's much. Not an age, but it's hold the on, does work. that mean that if you only started working when you were eighteen or twenty-one, yeah. you have to work three years extra, two years extra, four years extra? I don't think that's how the system necessarily works. I well, appreciate that you, you feel very hard done by if you've worked decades and still ask you get to less pension more. the less number of years you've worked for instance you know if you've worked in america for 10 years and then you come back here you get a reduced pension it's what you contribute to the country diana thank you very much for your call will from london what's your thoughts on this do you think this would be a good idea to raise revenue or just a bit harsh on somebody when they're just entering their pension pension years or hello, older years yeah hello hello stone um yeah I, I think it's a dreadful idea dreadful idea um I'm 76, yeah? I'm still working. Mm -hmm. So I'm still contributing. I'm still paying tax. Mm -hmm. Where my, my father was in the army for 23 years. He got a small pension from the army when he left, and he was taxed on it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely outrageous. I agree. I agree. Okay, so... The state gives what, with one what, hand and what, takes with the other. Taxing yeah. pension, taxing your pension money you don't like, but if you're working well, you're happy to be taxed on that. So explain to me what the difference is between paying your tax on your income that you're earning now, which is amazing that you're working past 66, and paying your national insurance. No, I'm not, I'm not paying national insurance because... No, I'm no, I, I know, but isn't national insurance just a tax? At the end of the day? Yes, yes, yes it is. Yes, yeah. Okay, but yeah. you think once you pass 66, you should get a reduction in the amount of tax that you pay on your working we, income? We shouldn't, no, no, we shouldn't, have, you know, you should be taxed on what you earn, uh -huh. but you shouldn't be paying national insurance. It's an agree. outrage. What's the we, difference, we, Will? What's the difference between tax, which you are paying, because to your credit, you're still working. I don't think there's anything patronising about giving you credit for that. I hope I'll be working at your age. What's the difference between tax, as Storm has pointed out, and national insurance. It's an extra tax. It's a it, second tax, it, that's it, why. But we all pay it. it, it no, why. we don't pay it after 66. What I'm, to, what I'm trying to get to is, do we believe as a society, do you personally believe, Will, that after you reach 66, there should be, and it, it might be the right policy, it might be the right way to do things, that there should be a reduction in the number, that the amount of tax that you pay on your income to sort of encourage people to stay in work past 66, perhaps? That might be a good idea. Yeah, but yeah. But the, 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 way, the, way, the way I still... Hang on. Yeah, the way I see it is I've, I've been paying national insurance since I was 16. Yeah. OK? Right. And 60 it's, years. It's, it, yeah, so it's not, it's not an entitlement. It's my money. I've got yeah. you, Will. I've yeah. got you. Thank you yeah. very much for your call. Catherine from Birmingham, what do you think? It, it, we should also reiterate, this isn't policy, it's not even in a manifesto. It was a suggestion brought up by a group of Labour MPs, that's mm. all. Uh, Labour have said they have... Bet your life they got their eye on it, manifesto. believe me. Catherine, what's your view? Um, I think that, yes, it, it should be taxed if they're continuing to work. And the reason I believe that um, is because... If you look at the actual figures, the amount of money that people pay in their contributions is way less than they ever take out. It's the same as the NHS. The services we get from the NHS, we don't really pay for ourselves. We're paying for... We, the young people of today are paying for us. Yes. Um, we paid for the previous generation, and people don't you know, sort of seem to get that. It's all about us helping each other out. And if you've got a pension and a job, yes, your pensions, I don't believe, should be ta taxed at all. 
But if you continue to work and you're getting that extra money, then yes. And as you're getting older, you're taking more of the services anyway. That's so I don't think it just said. applies to national, um, you know, to pensions. It applies to the NHS service and everything else. We don't ever, we don't ever pay in as much as we take out. Catherine, I hear you, but to balance that up, the older generation now will feel like they've already paid their exactly. share already built in, the in helping the but, older generation that yeah. have now passed. Yeah. And so it's the turn of well, the young generation and they feel like they're being hard done by because they're having to do both, yeah. both pay for but the we've got a smaller, younger generation. generation. We've and got a smaller, exactly. younger generation. Catherine, we are top okay. heavy. Catherine, Lots of may, older people, fewer younger people yeah. to support Catherine, the older may people. I ask you this, we have please. to get real people. If, if um, somebody had a private pension plan and they paid into it for 40 years, right, and then they retired and the private pension plan was paying out, but then they were told by the private pension plan, by the way, we're taking some of that back. That's exactly what the government are doing if they introduce this system. Yeah. We, 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 we give, but we're taking some back. Catherine, what about that argument that actually, you, the, you know, the older generation now set up a deal with the government when they started working yeah. that they were going to pay for a certain amount of years and then they were not going to have to pay national insurance after 66. Is it fair now to say, actually, we've changed our mind, you have to pay it? Right. Well, I'm already in my 60s. I haven't reached retirement age and I've already hit that point where my contract at 16 has now been changed. But is that it was fair? 65, yeah, now it's 67. That was a scandal. But, but, and is, is that fair, Catherine, is what I'm asking? Yes, I think it is. Okay. It reflects got, economic got, reality, well, doesn't it, let Catherine? Catherine? Let Catherine respond. Yes, exactly. Sorry, the thing on. is, things, things change. You, you have to move with, with those changes and we have to support our younger people. Mm. As I said, I'm in my 60s, heading towards retirement, and I've got several children who are struggling to, struggling to buy houses. Mm -hmm. The cost of living crisis has hit them. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I can see it from both points. Yeah, you certainly can. You're you're very level-headed about it and very understanding. But I, I can understand if you're an older person who has worked for decades yeah. and thought you were getting a certain deal to have that pension age extended and then be told you, if you're still working, if you're still contributing yeah. to society, you're going to be taxed on it. Now, that must be incredibly frustrating. Uh, but, Mike, yeah, the, the alternative yeah, yeah. to not doing it and not yeah. raising funds in, in this certain way yeah. would be increasing the number of um, migrants that we have coming into this country to fill the working well, well, places that we have in order to fund these well, services that we need for our top heavy society? I, I would hope not. We've already mentioned so once in this programme there are 10 million people in this country economically inactive. Some government at some stage has got to get a hold of this and say, have you seen the size of the welfare bill in this country? It's 2.6 billion quid, right? So okay. we've got to do something to reduce that. But one way of doing it is not to plunge pensioners into penury okay. by there's making not, them no pay national insurance. Catherine, thank you very much for your call. Thanks for all your calls on that.